Yes, guys. Upon knowing how to check UPC in my other video, you might have double checked right away some products there at your house. And you know, practicing if you're, if, I mean, practicing this new skill that you got there um, in verifying UPC. But you might observe that not all products have 12, digit, 12 digits as its UPC. Possibly you had their 13-digit 13, um, 13 digit, 13 digit, um, UPC rather than 12. Now, no problem. We'll be discussing here on how to do 30-digit um, UPC. So I, I scanned here as much as I can remember Quaker Oats um, UPC. So yeah, let's have this. Check digit, guys, is actually the four that is being separated at the start. Now... It depends in a company on, on where it, it wants to put the, the check digit. Could it be at the first? Could it be at the last? You may research that. You may research on that. Um, but um, generally, if you have 13 digits UPC, the one that being separated, yes, at the start is actually the, the check digit, meaning the rest of the numbers at its right would be the 12 digit code that we discussed in my other video meaning let's let's write that one here that 8002747000028 would be the 12 digits just like the 12 digits that we had in the uh, in my other video so 4 will not be the first digit to be considered here but it's eight all right so let's highlight that just like um we do it we did it in our in my other video so let's highlight those numbers on the odd positions that would be this number here this and yeah there you go so those would be the numbers under odd positions so just like we did it in my other video let's separate um odd positions so we have here three times eight plus zero plus seven plus another seven zero and two yeah there okay so let me double check eight zero seven seven zero two okay so let's calculate that one mm -hmm. okay let's add eight plus zero plus seven plus seven plus two the answer is 24 and we are to multiply that by three so this would give us 72 here and let's have this time even numbers on even positions that would be um, 0 plus 2 plus 4 plus another 0 so again you may not include 0 with you but for the benefit of others, I'll be having that in my video. <laughs> okay, so let's have that. The answer is 14, right? That's 2 plus 4 and the 8. So that would give us 14. So when we add them, the answer would be 86. So the reason why it's called check digit, it's because that number there the start or the check digit would be the one that we need so that the entire or the total sum is divisible by 10. Note that 86 plus the check digit therefore would give us 90 and 90 is divisible by 10. So you see this is how you do it um, efficiently. All right so just try yeah try doing this to the products that you had there wherein it has 13 digits and let me know if you're having some confusions all right thank you guys